Hi everyone, Dr. O'Neill here. In this video, I'm actually going to cover two separate topics. I'm going to start by talking about muscle terms that describe the number and type of origin of a muscle. And then I just have kind of a grab bag, some miscellaneous terms that I couldn't really fit anywhere else. Let's dive right in. So first we have biceps. Bi means two. So any biceps muscle is going to have two heads. Your two key examples would be the biceps brachii in your upper arm and the biceps femoris that is one of your hamstring muscles. They both have two heads. Next we have triceps. Tri means three. So the triceps brachii muscle is going to have three heads. You may also see this term used when we're talking about the triceps surae, which is really not a term that's used much anymore. It is an A muscle, but it's a combination of three muscles that control the movement of your calf, your lower leg. You use quad to describe something with four origins. So the quadriceps is not actually a muscle. It's a muscle group. These are the primary muscles of your thigh. And the quadriceps group is made of, you guessed it, four separate muscles. The vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, and the rectus femoris. Now, if you don't know what terms like vastus and rectus mean, watch the rest of the videos in this series. So biceps, triceps, and quadriceps are the three ways we describe muscles based on the number of origins that they have. Moving on to our grab bag, our miscellaneous terms. I wanted to cover these terms, they're important, but they really didn't fit under any, any other category. The first is buccinator. So buccinator, some say buccinator, but I believe buccinator is correct, means trumpeter. This is a muscle that actually helps compress your cheeks as you blow on a horn. So buccinator means trumpeter. Next we have rhizorius. Rhizorius means laugher. And like you may have guessed, the rhizorius muscle is right in here and it plays a role in smiling and laughing. Rhizorius means laugher. Next we have sartorius. Sartorius means like a tailor or tailor's knee, and it describes the actual action of the muscle and what it does. So if a tailor was to put their right ankle on their left knee while they were working, they would be contracting the sartorius muscle like a tailor or tailor's knee. And lastly, we have pterygoid. Pterygoid means wing-like. So I spent a few years uh, working with patients with TMJ or temporomandibular joint dysfunction. So I spent a lot of time working on the pterygoid muscles. The term wing-like kind of describes their appearance, but also the fact that they come from the sphenoid bone, which is a wing-like bone as well. So pterygoid means wing-like, and these are muscles inside your mouth that help control the movement of the jaw. So those are the muscles I just wanted to throw into our grab bag. I hope this video has helped you. Have a wonderful day. Learning complex topics is hard. That's why they're called complex topics. But I hope this video showed you that I can help you, that I can lead you down the right path, that we can tackle this topic together, one video at a time, one step at a time, one synapse at a time, until you grow gray matter.